Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Usually Mondays aren't super crazy when it comes to leaks in FC24, but that was not the case yesterday. In fact, the entire next promo team, yes, we're still in the middle of Ultimate Dynasties, but the entire next promo team has been leaked and it's actually making people upset we got to talk about that today and why the market took a massive nosedive but some of those cards are rebounding back up we're going to cover it a lot today if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up subscribe if you're new let's go over yesterday's content first as always it was an upgrade sbc day is honestly what it was pretty quiet day of content if you're being pretty honest we had the 78 plus player pick which to be honest, this is a W, right? It is only five players. It's just the same one that they released during Black Friday. Five golds, one rare, very good value player pick. The tough thing is right now I'm stuck between doing that and the radioactive crafting upgrade, which I should be doing because there's only 10 days left to get all 73, at least for me, left to get the objective done. But right now, the 78 plus player pick just seems like better value because it's only five players. It's a tough call right now. I might not even finish the radioactive crafting upgrade because these player picks, just like they were during Black Friday and Thunderstruck, they're pretty good. So that was a nice upgrade SBC to have yesterday for sure. We got another upgrade pack as well, the 85 double, which I don't see anybody complaining about this as well. And for good reason, an 82 and 83 rated squad with 284 is required. That is a cheap chance at some higher rated fodder, especially if you're trying to craft Mbappe, if you're trying to craft Zidane. You have all the tools right now in this game, a daily gold upgrade, a bronze and a silver upgrade, multiple different upgrade SBCs, and yes, an overpriced Team of the Week player pick, but we've got all the upgrade packs right now to really craft anything you want. You've got options. 83 times 10, yes, of course, a bit expensive, requires the inform, but that 85 double and the 78 plus coming out, honestly make the menu craft if you can put in the time put in the effort to get the stuff to get those picks and packs going you can get a lot of fodder right now on the menu so at least ggs to ea for making that fodder grind possible like the 85 plus double is only twenty thousand coins nineteen thousand coins from scratch off the market like that's pretty good value so that was yesterday's upgrade pack content now we had a couple of challenge sbcs not one but two sets of uefa marquee matchups this really impacted the market yesterday, this along with some of the store packs. We're going to talk about that. This really hurt the market because it's a lot of tradable packs. People love UEFA MMs. By the way, check your clubs for Paris FC players, I believe. Those were like 2.7K at one point yesterday. And I think maybe Milan players were inflated in price as well. But you get a premium and a prime electron pack in the men's UEFA marquee matchups along with a rare mixed. You also get a premium gold players pack for the women's side of things with a premium mixed and a prime mix inside of that as well. So good packs and for pretty cheap, according to Footbin, there are 20,000 coins to do both SBCs. You get, what is that, six packs in total? Not a bad tradable pack to try to go after right now with all of the cards that we have in packs, including the icons you could do a lot worse, in my opinion. So that was the content yesterday, which seemed to be a bit of an L, but honestly created a lot of market movements and the upgrade packs were honestly pretty nice. Now, EA's content tweet, something we always look to on Mondays as well to kind of learn what's going to come up throughout the rest of the week. We didn't see an Ultimate Dynasties player SBC yesterday, so that's going to be coming at some point. Evidently, we're getting a Centurion's Icon player SBC, that hasn't dropped yet. We're also getting a showdown for a UWCL game. Uh, didn't see that. And an evolution. So hopefully the... Uh, basically yesterday we had this. Upgrade and challenge SBC. So today, Tuesday, tomorrow, Wednesday, throughout the rest of this week. Hopefully this top line of content will keep us interested. But there's a lot less on this graphic than there has been in previous weeks. Seems like it might be a little bit of a quieter week. It's going to depend on who the Centurion's icon is. That's really intriguing. That they're going to drop one of those. We'll have to see. That, another icon SBC could mean more hype for that higher rated fodder that maybe some of you guys still have or that you're chasing right now to try to get other SBCs done. So we'll just have to see what comes with that. The rumor with this Dynasty's SBC is, is that is the third Hoyland brother. Uh, of course, we've got Hoyland from Copenhagen. I think Rasmus Hoyland and then his brother Hoyland from Copenhagen. The other brother also plays on Copenhagen. I think he's going to be getting an SBC. That is the rumor uh, that is just circulating around out there that he is going to be getting a card later on this week. Watch out for leaks, though. I'm sure Sheriff and all those other guys will be posting leaks of who that last or the next Ultimate Dynasties SBC player could be. Now, let's talk about 
the live cards fc pro live cards of course yesterday the hype was all with anders and the upgrades are going to come in today and anders secured simicon that cheeky plus two anders was the only player yesterday to get the optimal upgrades that you can get from the first match day of games he got 10 points so simicon's going to be getting a plus three because he's an 84 rated card which means his first inform upgrade would take him to an 86 and then his second inform upgrade that uh, anders achieved by getting 10 points in these uh these qualifier group stages is going to take him to an 87 he's also going to get the alternate position which a lot of people are hoping is center defensive mid he can already play center back and right back can you imagine this card as an 87 rated as a center defensive mid i mean the weak foot and the skill moves would probably not work this medium medium work rates honestly needs a medium high that'd be great for this card as well uh, but that's the biggest upgrade that's coming as of yesterday's games or well, it'll be coming today once ea upgrade these cards koulibaly is getting a plus one upgrade and also getting uh the alternate position and play style uh, yes simicon's getting the play style as well and then the only other two upgrades that we have are delhi ali and ogbana both just getting stat upgrades a plus one upgrade overall on those cards now once again if you ended up selling into the hype on these cards it ended up being the best play even for Simicon, you could have sold Simicon for thirty six thousand coins yesterday before the games were even played he went down during the matches to 31 and then has kind of roared back to about 36 where he is now so you didn't even have to hold on and you sold in an optimal time frame there Koulibaly is like one of the only ones who's slightly up from where he was he was like I guess it's the same price. He was 59K yesterday before the matches, went down to 52, and is back up to 59 with the upgrades that are coming. Uh, Deli Ali was like 100K. He's now 70,000 coins. Ogbana was 120. He's now 90K, so he's dropped off. And um, the only card that's not getting upgraded as of yesterday's games is actually the SBC, a very... Uh, unlikely non-upgrade. Mana Bashor, one of the previous world champions, is not getting any upgrades for Lozano just yet. Luckily, there is a second match week for all these cards that have even played and the ones that haven't played yet. There's going to be two match weeks for everybody to try to get some more upgrades later on down the line. I think in January or at least towards the end of this month and in January, some of those will be happening. Uh, so yeah, that's the FC Pro Live situation, but those upgrades will be coming in today. I mean, this Simicon card reminds me of Daniel Malin, right? When Malin got upgraded, his price didn't even go up. If you're still investing in this card and you're holding on to it, waiting for it to go up after he gets the upgrade, what's really going to make this card even think about go up, going up after the upgrade would be the alternate position that they get uh, and whatever play style he's going to get to. Like if he were to get, I don't know, anticipate or something like that and they were to give him center defensive mid, maybe left back, people would like that as well. That would be something that would have to be added for this card to even maybe go up in price. But I don't think it's going to rise that much. Again, I'm really looking to how supplied he was. It really reminds me of Malin. And now Malin, look, Malin's 23,000 coins. He's been down after his upgrade. He was at 30. Now he's at 23. That did happen a while after he got upgraded. But I just don't think that these cards, like all the hype is leading up into those matches, which is why we sell into the hype. And that was the move yesterday for sure so watch out for those upgrades today we'll be looking about thunderstruck upgrades and talking about those tomorrow on a wednesday that's when those should be dropping now let's get to the big news guys this was a crazy monday as we mentioned in the intro of the video it was a crazy monday because i didn't expect to be talking about the next promo we're in literally the first half of the week of the ultimate dynasties promo and we have this plastered all over twitter yesterday the full team of the group stage team yes team of the group stage remember we looked at it in one of last week's videos where they added the car designs to the code where it was like you know the champions league europa league and conference league team of the tournament or team of the group stage card designs well that's looking like it's our next promo we did not have this promo last year because of the world cup this is a promo that we had almost every year before that though this is a promo that basically takes ea take the best best players using quotes here because it's best players from the group stages of the european competitions and they put them into a promo team it's kind of like team of the week but for the Champions League group stages. And there are some big name players inside of here. Mbappe, Musiala, Griezmann, Cancelo, Jude Bellingham. Behind the face camera right here, you can't see it. It's Barella, uh, Bukayo Saka, Rodrigo, Alvarez, Pope, Rafael. Yeah, like this is a 
Banger promo. Phil Foden getting in here is Hakimi first promo card of the year. Jonathan Klaus with another one. Gravenberch. A lot of people would be very, very excited for that card. This has some very, very big name players in it. But that's actually what's making people upset. And a lot of the reason why people aren't liking this leak at all is because number one, it's way early. Like, come on, man. I understand these guys getting the information, wanting to post about it, wanting to get the clout, get the hype building because they have that information, right? And this is all stuff that whether we say it or not, we're kind of interested in wanting to know because it's like secretive and everybody wants information and wants to know what's upcoming next. They want to have that knowledge. But it just seems so early. Like, why do we have to worry about this now and think about this when nobody else has even talked about Team of the Group stage yet uh, besides now? So that's number one. Number two is a lot of people are disappointed because these are players that have had multiple promo cards already in this game. And I completely understand where you are coming from with that logic. A lot of people actually, you know what, I'll say this. This is a promo almost every single time that it drops. If we take a look back here to FIFA 22, the last team of the group stage that we had, or the team of the tournament, as they sometimes call it too, oftentimes a lot of players get reused uh, in this promo. It, it, but it's just because, honestly, like look at Marquinhos. He had an 89 rated team of the group stage card. He had an 88 and an 89 rated inform, which were out at the same time that it's dropped. Like he already had multiple inform cards back in FIFA 22. Probably the same thing for some of these other cards as well. Um, it, it just does always seem like this promo brings out this sort of sentiment that EA just reuses the same players that have gotten promos earlier on in the year. But that kind of makes sense, at least to me, in a little bit of the standpoint that, like I said, this is like team of the week for the group stages of the European competition. So this is who EA is saying has performed really well or some of the best performers in that group stage. So yeah, if somebody's performed really well, they've gotten informs, they've maybe gotten a player of the month, they would be a very good candidate for this promo if you think about it in that sense. But I completely understand people that are like, dude, Cancelo just had, well, he, he had an Evo, right? A lot of people put him in an Evo. Griezmann has got three 89 rated cards. Are we about to get another 89 rated Griezmann? I hope not. This one better be 90 or 91 rated, right? We just had Mbappe player of the month. He's going to get this promo card and maybe another player of the month announced today. Bukayo Saka and Jonathan Klaus are probably two of the biggest cards that people have problems with because they actually have live road to the knockout cards. Like, like what are they going to do with Saka? Saka's already got a live upgraded card. That concept shows him as 88. Good thing that that concept is a prediction, right? And it's just the leak the leak of the players, not the leak of the rating. Because this Sokka is 91 rated. If they're going to go ahead and drop a man of the match Sokka in this game, or not a man of the match, a team of the group stage Sokka in this game that's 88 rated, I mean, there's going to be some people that are probably pretty upset with that, right? And I completely understand. So it, it's just the player selection are a lot of players that we have seen before. Now, some of them are not. Hakimi, that's going to be a sick card. Um... You know, Pope, that's going to be a really sick card as well. Foden, probably going to be pretty usable. But you look at a lot of this this team above, like a lot of them have already had either an Inform or a Trailblazers SBC. <laughs> Looking at Alvarez and Rodrigo, both of them right there. So it's going to be interesting to see how EA differentiate these cards to the older ones. They're going to have to use different play styles. They're going to have to maybe do a weak foot or a skill move upgrade. That's what it's going to take to actually bring some hype to these cards. Um to set them apart from some of the other special cards in the past weeks that some of you guys maybe are using in your current teams right now. But that's where people are starting to get upset with this. And again, guys, this is an early league. So we take it with a pinch of salt. We always do, right? We take it with a pinch of salt. But at the same time, these leagues have been, I mean, they've been pretty spot on. I won't say accurate per se, but a lot of these guys have been pretty uh, close with the leagues, especially with like the promo leaks and teams like that. So... I think that is going to be very similar along the lines of the team that we see coming this Friday. And we're assuming that it's this Friday because if that's the full promo team lead for like two weeks away, that's pretty bananas. But let me know down in the comments what you think about this promo team. Um, it's big names, guys, honestly, because EA know they got to sell packs. And this is a promo every year that during December they like to run or besides last year during the World Cup, right? If you go back to the past couple of, of years, like FIFA 22, you had Salah, Ronaldo, Lewandowski, you had a Cancelo, Bruno Fernandez. Like, look at these guys on the bench, man. Vinny, Anthony, this Thiago Jallo card was crazy overpriced. How many of you guys remember this guy? He was like 500K, went down to 300,000 coins. He had so much hype because he was a perfect link to Renato Sanchez back in the day. Um, 
yeah, th this promo always has some big name players in it, and it looks like EA is continuing that with Team of the Group Stage. So watch out for more, maybe leaks, more news, more information. It is an early leak. Take it with a pinch of salt. I would wait for maybe Foot Sheriff and some of the other guys on Twitter. If they start tweeting out some of the same cards, you're like, okay, that's confirmation. Like, okay, we'll probably be seeing those cards here very soon in the game on Friday. So watch out for that sort of confirmation for those leaks. Also with that, a lot of people are asking, Nate, where are the UCL heroes? Aren't those supposed to be in packs as well? The UEFA heroes for the men's and the women's players. There was a lot of news yesterday about those dropping. We didn't talk about it in yesterday's video because I never found where that news was like 100% accurately posted by EA or anything like that. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. I'm not entirely sure, but it would make sense for EA to drop heroes like this at the same time as a team of the group stage or a champions league based promo it's a champions league week this week so i don't know if these guys are just going to randomly drop into packs it doesn't make sense for ea to do that i think ea know that they have the most success with stuff going into packs so when they drop it on fridays uh besides black friday that's kind of a different scenario right but uh that's why i'm expecting to have those cards into packs on Friday as well. So just keep an eye out for that. But that's kind of all the UCL news and the leaks with that. Let me know in the comments what you guys think because that is a big name promo and I would definitely try opening a couple packs for that. At least trying to hit some of those big boy cards. But at the same time, if I were to pack 93 Mbappe and get insanely lucky and unlucky at the same time while having his player of the month, that would be a buzzkill. So that's kind of be that's going to be the problem with this next promo. Um, although there are some nice cards in it. Now, let's talk about right here, right now, Ultimate Dynasties, the players that are crashing, and really the market that got destroyed yesterday. It was getting destroyed almost everywhere, man. Uh, and really, it had to do with a couple things. We mentioned the supply, right? These two SBCs, you can never underestimate a good marquee matchups. And when they do them two times, two different marquee matchups at once, with those packs inside of it, and with the store packs refreshing yesterday, it created a crazy situation where, look at Teo Hernandez. He went from 1.2 mil all the way down to 1.1. A combination of supply and probably panic selling on a card like this. Took him all the way down to 1.1 mil. He's now back to almost 1.2 as the panic has kind of subsided and the supply has kind of subsided. That is how a lot of graphs look in this game. Look at Lauren James. She was, what, 230,000 coins yesterday? 250. She didn't even rise that much. There wasn't that much of a Monday market rise yesterday at all. I ended up not buying too many cards at all, and I'm kind of glad that I didn't because it just seems like, as we've mentioned over the weekend, now I'm fully believing it, guys, that people are not spending as many coins on cards right now. People are selling cards to go and do all the SBCs to open all the crazy store packs. Like, again, we were mentioning store packs. Yesterday, I believe the 500k Supreme Dynasties pack refreshed once again. Um, I was not really keeping track of this countdown timer, but I'm pretty sure that this pack came back out once again. So that would be 500,000 coins that people were potentially selling cards to go and open this pack in the store once again. And that drains so many coins from the market. And it's happening continually this week with all of these packs here in the store, with all the upgrade SBCs like the 83 times 10s that we have. We got to check informs, right? We talk about coin drain. We see informs. Going up to like, I mean, are they touching 40,000 coins? Because they were 37 earlier. How much are informs right now? Looks like they're still about 37, 38K. They're still up inflated very, 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 very high. And yeah, 37,000 coins. We're starting to see some listings dry up. 37K. There we go. 37,000 for all informs right now. Probably going to go higher today, right? It's just crazy how much coin drain is happening. So that's why like you see my coins are almost totally liquid up here. And yes, I'm watching trades. Yesterday was a really insane day to trade. Like you could have bought, like we just looked at that Teo Hernandez for 1.1 uh, 1 mil and sold him for 1.2. Like you had a really good fluctuation opportunity there. This Harry Kane, here's an example of, of good trades you can make. When there's crashes like that in the market, whether it's supply and panic or just panic in general, again, we always talk about the rare and the meta and the out of packs. Harry Kane was 190. He went all the way down to 166, which is very close to the one that I have on my transfer targets here. And what is he right now? He's back to 190. So you bought under 170, you're selling at 190. That's a solid flip right there for a couple hours time. The market's probably not going to die as much today. I don't think it would die as much. It still could drop off a bit. But when you find these rare cards that are out of packs, that are ones that people want to use, even Gabriel Jesus, he was 140,000 coins yesterday, and now he's back to 163. 
I could find countless examples of cards in packs and cards out of packs that had really good fluctuations yesterday that you could have traded with. Just take note of some of those graphs. Take note of some of that and learn like, okay, this card is rare. This card people like to buy almost at all times. Even if it's down bad, people will buy it. And you can find a really good card to trade in and out of the market during times of crazy panic and stuff like that. But I think that's really why a lot of the market is headed downwards. Tons of coin drain right now and supply at the same time. That's The supply is why these cards dropped off a bunch yesterday for sure. Timber is another one. If we're going to look at an example, he's back to almost 190K. He went from 210, 215. Supply, supply, supply down to 165 and then boom, back up to 190. So another good flipping opportunity there. Um, yeah, that was that's the market, man. That is the market yesterday for sure. Um, if you were able to time it right, you were able to make some good coins. But I'm sure a lot of people saw those price and like, Nate, what in the world is going on? I think if you want to buy an Ultimate Dynasties for your team, I think you're still waiting, especially if it's like one of the brand new mini release players. Like, I can't believe that Taram is still 400,000 coins. It's a crazy expensive card. Great card. Don't get me wrong. He's going to be super good in game. Same thing with uh, Nico Williams. But like the fact that Nico Williams is 280K and this card is 410, it's the rarity that's, that's shining through for these cards because they were in the mini release and not in the full release. So definitely keep an eye out on that and be extra careful with strikers because strikers, although we did see a few bounce back, they still are crashing a lot because of everybody using Erling Holland. Now let's talk about fodder a bit more too. If you have fodder, I still think you're okay to hold on to it. Even with all the supply, 88s are still 25K a pop. 89s are still 40K a piece. 90s are still 56. 91s are 67,000 coins now. Holland and De Bruyne. So you're sitting pretty on the high tier. 87s, maybe down a smidge. They were 18K. Now they're 17, 16 and a half. Um, and then on the lower tier, I think 82s and 83s are just starting to creep up off the bottom like 50 coins you can see 750 that's up a little bit for 82s 83s approaching a thousand coins again going to be probably the best place to just buy loads and resell and try to list for lazies because of all of the again the 85 double it's going to refresh a couple triple times per day i think right you can do it three times a day so that one 83 times 10 still being available that's really really good so if you have high tier you can probably hold on to it again if we're getting another icon sbc who knows who that might be? That might be more demand. This Icon SBC also might be on Saturday because this week in Ultimate Team to them, I think means like Monday to Sunday. So some of the stuff could be coming after uh, the Friday content drop. I think a lot of us think of it as like, okay, this is coming between Monday and Thursday, but actually it could be between Monday and Sunday. So we may have an Icon Player SBC next weekend. It might be sometime during the week. We'll just have to see. So watch out for that. That's kind of the fodder situation on the market right now. Let's talk about uh, today a little bit. First of all, we've got a big announcement because, yeah, I know. I've done Player of the Month in Mbappe, and yes, I feel like a rat, but the card is absolutely broken. It's absolutely incredible. It's the card. I've never had an Mbappe to use for this long in the game. He's, he's, he's doing awesome for me, right? 16 and 30. Absolutely broken card. Well, we talked about this, right? The winner will be displayed of the brand new winner of the november player of the month for league one the that winner is going to be announced today guys today is december 12th i believe last time when they announced this they were actually like behind but it's mbappe klaus or Toribo, and we're expecting mbappe to win again so just again picture this we have an mbappe player of the month right now who's 92 rated we're supposed to be getting an mbappe team of the group stage who's going to be probably 93 rated and you're also telling me there's a chance for another 93 rated Mbappe player of the month. Well, 92 Mbappe player of the month seems a lot less cool now if that's going to be taking place. We'll just have to see, though, because when this is announced today, that'll really solidify what we're going to be looking for and watching out for. So if there is another Mbappe that isn't coming, you'll probably see some panic selling on the current Mbappe items. Uh, maybe his... Uh, it's in form. I think his Trailblazers is already down a lot. 3.4 mil. Uh, yesterday. Okay, it's been dropping. He was 3.6. Yeah. So just keep an eye on that if you've got a tradable Mbappe. The gold card's 2.2. I mean, he would go out of packs, of course, if there was another Mbappe to come into packs. But at this stage of the game, I mean, he's 2.4 mil. Look at how much he's dropped off since Friday. 2.4 mil. Now he's 2.2. We are definitely entering the December market crash 100%. Um, it's just a matter of does it keep going down at this rate or does it probably slow out a bit before maybe having some more drops like next week? That's going to be the biggest question. It's going to depend on what the content looks like 
for the rest of this week. Um, it doesn't look too crazy, but then again, you've got so many upgrade packs that who knows, right? Um, oh, last thing, and we're going to go back and forth between the game and between the web pages for this. Last thing to look at today, guys. Car designs added to the, I don't know what's going on with leaks, okay? I don't know, but these guys, this guy, ASY Foot Trader, remember, he had the entire radioactive team leaked early a couple weeks ago, and now he's got the official car designs for fire and ice. Tell me it's not happening, man. Like, don't bring back the fire and ice memories of one of the promos that people hated the most from a couple of FIFAs ago. Um, evidently, those car designs are in the code, so we'll see when that's going to be. All I want to know is when's Foot Miss, bro? But this is something that Foot Miss or Winter Wild Cards, right? This looks Winter Wild Cards y to me with the green and with the gold, right? Remember, Winter Wild Cards car design was very green and gold from previous years. Um, this is the next Winter Promo Icon car design. So they don't have an official name for it yet, it sounds like. But that is the Icon car design for our next set of special icons. Again, so many leaks. I wouldn't worry too much about this. Just know that there's going to be more special icons, I guess. And that's what the car design is going to look like. I don't know what I even think about that car design. That is just interesting. That's what we'll say. We'll say interesting for that car design, man. All right, we're going to end the video with my 83 times 10. I'm continuing the streak still with getting an inform in every single one of these so far. So for the boys, can we do it again? I got one yesterday and it kept the streak alive. Who's this? Uh, that's little Arsenal. Is it a double? It's not a double walkout. Is she even a walkout? She's an 86, right? Yeah. Okay. Wow. All right. I really need an 83 or an 84 inform behind this, please. EA Sports, FIFA, HD, Vancouver, Canada. They didn't keep the streak alive. And we packed Pope. Who's going to be in the promo team? Cooked. All right. Well, I'm going to have to go somehow get an inform because now I am behind. Uh, we, we opened five of those and got an inform. And that's where the train stops there. So that's going to be the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account. See you guys in the video tomorrow. Peace.